Hey Ashley, just thought I'd give a quick response to your question about why creationists sometimes seem to have an issue with the second law of thermodynamics. And uh, just, I'm not sure about the description of the second law that you read there, but sort of the, the simplest one that I've ever seen would be the entropy of an isolated system not in equilibrium will tend to increase over time approaching a maximum value at equilibrium. Basically that, you know, gas will expand to fill a room, things like that. Any Anything that's not in balance will strive to reach that balance uh, by increasing entropy. But that's, that's only valid in a closed system. So the, the creationist problem with that, that uh, I've heard at least, is they run from the assumption First of all, that the universe is a closed system, which we're not sure if it is or not, but they, they assume that it is, and they also seem to assume that the entropy isn't rising, which we also don't know. Um, certainly, with the apparent expansion of at least the, the visible part of the universe, it sort of leans towards believing that the entropy probably is rising, but uh, I'm not sure where sort of the breakdown happens in the creationist argument there. Um, it really doesn't seem to have any basis in, in the actual second law of thermodynamics, which either doesn't apply or is actually uh, working the way that uh, is stated. So I really, I've, I've heard the argument be made by quite a few creationists that, you know, human life or intelligence or any number of things isn't compatible with the second law of thermodynamics, but they never give a reason because as soon as they give a reason, it it's very apparent that their reasoning has nothing to do with the second law of thermodynamics. So I'm I'm really not sure why they're making that connection or where you know, I have a feeling that it's you know, some argument on some website being made and uh, a lot of people are just pulling it and not really understanding what they're trying to argue, as happens with quite a few creationist arguments, especially with regards to fossil records and things like that, where the, the creationist websites uh, give a lot of false information or out-of-date information, and those same arguments are applied in real discussion, and then of course knocked around by anyone who's read a book in the last 20 or 30 years on the field. So it, it's just sort of a matter of a complete misunderstanding of the physical laws of, of thermodynamics. So I'm not really sure how to explain their argument because they they really don't have one as far as I can see with regards to to that at least. So yeah, not really much of an argument on their side, unfortunately. So it would be interesting to have a real argument with a creationist that, that makes any sort of sense. But, uh, oh well, probably not going to find that anytime soon. See you later.